Guys, my collaboration with Mark Hill is finally here. I'm so excited about it and I'm really excited for you guys to be able to get your hands on it. We have a curling wand handle in this beautiful gray gradient. And then obviously to match that, we've got the medium barrel, a round brush, and the tutorial that I'm gonna do today is on the Mermaid Waver. I have done tutorials on the other barrels if you wanna have a little look. But yeah, we're gonna do the Mermaid today. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, um, normally, when I first say I was doing it at home, I would obviously work from bottom up, but just to show you guys um, as clearly as I can from the front how to use the mermaid um, barrel, if you didn't know, we're just going to do the front section. So let me grab this one first, clip that away. Before we do anything, we're of course going to use heat protectant because you need to protect the hair. I'm just going to spray a few, brush that through. Mermaid barrel, I work this way up. So the panel of the barrel, I like to have underneath. That way I'm able to see each sort of individual tong and then you know where to place it as you're going down. With this, you can grab quite chunky sections if you want to. You can grab smaller sections depending on how wavy you want it to be. I do somewhere in between. It, honestly, it's as easy as grab it. I'm gonna start from the top. Make sure the hair's almost like flat and, and spread out along here. That way you get the best wave, hold it for a few seconds and then I move down and that last little dip there, that's where we're going to put the barrel and this literally just repeat the same thing as you go down. I find this barrel actually curls quite quick so you really only need to hold it for a few seconds all the way down to the end and you get this really nice mermaid style wave. So the whole color theme of the collaboration with Mark Hill is obviously, as you can tell, really gray, metallic. Um, I wanted to do something completely different to anything that Mark Hill have already, because Mark Hill are sort of known for their color, and I wanted to do something a bit, a bit more neutral. Plus, if you know me, neutral is really, really down my street. It's also really cool to have the matte handle with that contrasting silver barrel, I think it looks really, really cool. So yeah, it's just a completely different aesthetic for Mark Hill. Um, and yeah, it's, it's kind of me all over. The handle attachment as well, by the way, guys, this is like the pick and mix collection, so you can interchange all the barrels with the one handle. So if you get this barrel, you'll be able to put every single one in it. Like you don't need to get um, any other attachments to go with it or anything. They all fit in this one um, handle. I love the mermaid waver because it's so easy to do. Like it's so easy, but so effective. It's so cute. And another thing as well, to match the whole vibe of the collection, there is a complete mirrored sort of reflective mirror bag as well. And this is almost like storage for your, all the tools. So there's compartments in there that you can put all the tools in. Great for traveling. Like I'm, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm the kind of girl who I like to have numerous different barrels and wands and stuff with me because depending on the day, depending on what I'm feeling, I want a different hairstyle. Um, and obviously with this, because of the one handle and you can interchange, it's save, save space anyway, and then you can pop it all in here and you're good to go. Let me show you inside. There you go, so you can see you've got all the, all the different bits that you can, all the little pockets that you can put everything in. It's literally as simple as popping it in like this. You can even take the round brush. There's a bigger pocket back here as well for the bigger tools. Zip it up and you are ready to go. <laughs> okay, let's um, finish up this mermaid wave hairstyle. Bring it around. And then you've got the easiest but coolest hairstyle ever. Um, to finish off, I just take like a wide tooth comb. It makes all the waves sort of like come together as one. I prefer obviously a comb to a, um, a brush just so it doesn't frizz up but another thing that we can do to help with any frizz and just to make sure everything looks really smooth mark hill smoothing serum i literally take a couple pumps of that rub it in my hands and then i just run it through the ends of the hair to just smooth everything out this stuff literally smells amazing as well kind of wanna <laughs> a couple more this side my hair's quite thick so I like to put a generous amount in, and then we can re-comb that through. I especially get the ends as well. And I just re-comb everything through to spread that oil in. And there you go. 
super, super easy.